we are now having a conversation with Hans Martens, who is um, uh, working uh, for the INSEF and the SchoolNet. And you have, um, you have had a presentation about uh, the EU against the, uh, uh, the INSEF uh, content or, or the, the hazards of the internet better to say, as far as I understood. So actually my question is that, uh, that uh, is there any examples of best practices how to deal with these, these, uh, these hazards? Uh, are there any contents that are, that, are, uh, that are showing some kind of guidance for those who would like to, to get rid of these, these problems that are coming from the internet? So indeed, as you mentioned, I'm, I'm from the InSafe network. Um, Actually, I'm from the coordination team of the InSafe network. And across Europe, we have 30 centers. And all of them try to do precisely that. So they try to develop good resources, best practices. And I think the strength of our network is that we are a network. And then we try to share. And we try to pick up the best things and then translate it to other countries. So hopefully, yes, there are a lot of good examples. Um, and I think that's really the focus of, of the work we do. So we try to detect some good examples, then we translate it, and we try to make them available in, in other countries. I can give, for example, one, one recent example. So very recently, we, we developed the Web We Want handbook, which is a handbook developed together with young people. And the basic idea was, let's start from what they feel is important. We talk a lot about online issues, risks, opportunities, but from a young people's perspective, what do they feel that is really needed? And based on that, we try to develop uh, a peer handbook. So it's not for teachers to teach the young people, it's for young people to discuss it together with their friends, with their peers, and to jointly find a way to, to best deal with risks, but also to find what are the most important opportunities and how can we perhaps do some interesting things, creative things on, online. All right. Do I d understand uh, well that it can be some kind of shift from the point of view? So, uh, as far as I know, uh, know uh, there were a lot of approaches uh, uh, aiming uh, teachers and parents to help the, the children uh, solve their problems online. And uh, so, is that is this something like a new uh, direction, a new a new point of view that that you are now focusing on peers, on 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 friends, on on, uh, on other young people? So. To be clear, it, obviously parents, teachers, it, it's very important. I think most of the work we do directly relates to, to helping parents, teachers to, to guide young people. But if you look at young people today, most of what they do is very closely linked to what they do with their friends, with their peers. So based on that, it seems quite reasonable to start from their perspective, to start from their life world, and to train them to, to do something interesting with it. So probably the idea itself is, is not that innovative but indeed if you look around are there resources like this available I think there was a real need for this kind of kind of resource and that's also the response we get from young people we really needed this kind of resource but also for teachers for parents because they can then give it to young people they can have sort of an equal debate about what are the important things and I think for teachers and for parents that's also an important thing they can sort of step into the world of young people and have a joint equal discussion about what are sort of the most important risks opportunities and how you can best deal with it well the uh, question is if this uh, handbook is uh, more focusing on prevention or problem solving I would say it, it's it's trying to do both so the most important thing is don't be too panicky about wh what is happening online. I think the internet is a very exciting, good place. Obviously, there can go certain things wrong, but it, it's important never to lose sight of the fact that you have both these risks and opportunities. So if you work with young people, I think you have to try to focus on the positive things, because otherwise I don't think they really will be engaged in, in the kind of activities you do. Um, but then again, it's, sort of, it's not only about prevention, it's about what do you do if something goes wrong, but also what can you do beforehand so that nothing goes wrong, but also that it's not all about going wrong. There are also very nice, good things. So it's also about getting them to be creative, to, to do exciting things, to explore what is online without encountering the risks and certainly no harm. Okay, uh, I think that, uh, that on this conference we are talking a lot about uh, the current situation. So there, is, there are a lot of uh, monitoring systems, there are researches uh, showing uh, different kind of uh, well, challenges, hazards, something. 
Uh, I would be very much interested in your, in your personal opinion. What would you think uh, how the internet uh, would look like in five years uh, in terms of, of children? I think, I think it's, it's a very good question and I think we are at an important stage. I think if you look at, at the amount of media attention which is going to safety issues, it's getting quite big. You have very big companies such as Facebook, Google. We are a bit concerned about what, what is happening and a lot of people don't really know in, in which way it is developing. Um, I think it's, it's important to accept that this is not going to go away. So often you hear people saying let's close down this social network site or we should uh, for, forbid them to do this. I don't think that that's a, a feasible solution. So what we try to do is collaborate not only with young people, but for instance also with industry. I mentioned the Web We Want publication. It's a publication which is developed together with Google, developed together with Liberty Global. So it, it's, it's sort of a good example of how we try to be in between, on the one hand, the industry. We try to explain to them that there are certain issues that they need to take this into account. But at the same time, we also try to collaborate with young people and we try to be sort of an in-between person and try to get the best out of what is, what is available online. So it is on an EU level or it can be also applied on a, a local level? So the, the Web We Want in particular, so it, it started as, as a, a simple one language publication. Uh, but like what we always try to do with the InSafe Network, if we feel that it, it's a good publication, we start translating this. So it started with one. Um, and gradually, I think you will have it in, in 10 different languages. I know we have translated in Dutch. We're talking about translating it in Portuguese. There will be an Hungarian version. So, so that's, that's what we always try to do. If we feel it is a good idea, it is perhaps even an innovative idea, then we try to translate it and make it available in as many languages as possible. Well, thank you very much. Just one last question. So you are now here at, at this conference. I would be very much interested what are the hot topics that, are, that you are uh, looking for, looking at, I mean, what we'd like to discuss here on this conference about. I think for me personally, and, and, and again, it, it relates to, to what I've been saying before, I think the fact that, that it is becoming so huge and important, it, it's sort of short, partly shifting the perspective. It's not just any longer about okay a digital divide and need, the need for people to, to, to get online. It's about the fact that all of these issues that we are discussing, privacy, online reputation, cyberbullying, it's sort of it's getting very, very mainstream and, and I think it, it, it's a good a good moment to, to discuss these things. We have been discussing it for quite a while, but we know that it's not going to go away. So I think that it, that it's very important that we continue to have these kind of debates. Well, I wish you very nice uh, discussions and debates on this conference. Yeah, and uh, well, have a nice uh, stay here in Hungary. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you very, you very much. much.